Located in British Columbia, Campbell River is a gateway to northern Vancouver Island. The John Hart Hydroelectric Facility was the catalyst for economic development of the area in the 1940s and 50s. BC Hydro has begun a replacement project for the facility with contractor In Power BC to address significant reliability, earthquake, and environmental risks. The new facility will be underground. Its innovative design enhances the surrounding Elk Falls Provincial Park by reducing the visual and physical impact on the park and river. The powerhouse is located approximately 100 meters below surface and is 40 meters high and 93 meters long. Construction requires 18 months of drilling and blasting, removing some 300,000 cubic meters of rock, enough to fill 120 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The powerhouse is accessed via two tunnel portals. The service tunnel is 116 meters long and provides a conduit for air, power, and worker-pedestrian access. The main access tunnel, 384 meters in length, will provide truck access for ongoing maintenance of the station. The project includes a new water intake in concrete and rock that is deeper in the reservoir and will provide better operational flexibility. The intake includes water outlet valves, providing precise fish habitat flows down the Elk Falls Canyon. The majority of the water will enter the intake and 8.5 meter diameter power tunnel and go about 100 meters straight down into the bedrock. The tunnel slope will then level off at a 1% grade to the generating station. The tunnel can carry up to 124 cubic meters of water per second. That's enough water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in 20 seconds. A new surge tank provides water pressure management within the tunnel, replacing the three existing surge towers. The power intake tunnel is 1.4 kilometers long, from the dam to the powerhouse. A water bypass system beside the powerhouse can quickly divert water around the turbines if needed to maintain water discharges and protect downstream salmon habitat from unplanned turbine and generator shutdowns. The powerhouse contains three turbines and generators, providing a 9.5% increase in annual power output, using the same amount of water as the original facility. The 132 megawatts of capacity is enough to power 80,000 homes. Once the water passes through the powerhouse, it enters a 650 meter long tunnel where it flows into the Campbell River just upstream of the existing station. The tail race and water flow is designed to preserve the 50-50 water flow split around First Island just downstream and maintain existing fish habitat. Power generated at the station will be transmitted by underground cables to the substation and into the wider BC Hydro power grid. Upon completion, the project's three drivers will be met electricity reliability will be significantly improved with new equipment in a modern station configuration. Being located in rock, the facility will be seismically strong and fish habitat downstream will be protected by the water bypass facility. The project will create a peak of 360 jobs in 2016, positively affecting the local economy. To complete the project, the existing powerhouse will be removed. Two of the surge towers will also be removed. One of the iconic surge towers, though not part of the new facility, will remain to support communications links. The existing 1.8 kilometer wood stave and steel penstocks will be removed and the surrounding area reforested. The John Hart project will provide clean, safe, reliable power for generations, starting in fall of 2018.